Hey guys, JC here. I'm back with J Cosmetics channel. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a couple weeks. I've been super busy. But today I have decided to open this new box that I got a couple weeks ago from a friend. It's the pharmacy brand makeup. And I figured I'd try it out and do a little review for y'all on camera. Um, I actually have been wearing it for about two weeks just to kind of you know, get an idea and see how long it lasts and just so I can give y'all the best review. Um, but I really do like it and I hope you guys enjoy watching this tutorial of me applying some of the makeup that I did get from there. Um, so let's see, I do have the foundation, full coverage. Um, I did notice it was a little bit too dark for my skin, but maybe by the summertime I can um, use this. But right now it's a little too dark, but I'm going to use it anyway, just to show you the coverage. And then I also got the Face Perfecting Pressed Powder to go along with that on top. And, oh, this is the primer that I'm going to put on first. The BFX Pro Camera Ready Primer from Pharmacy. And I have this brush applicator that I've been using, and I actually really love it. Of course, there's makeup on there, but um, I feel like it's better than the Beauty Blender, which I never thought anything could beat a Beauty Blender, but it's very smooth whenever you begin the application. So Then I have um, a lip liner, the color, I'm not really sure, it's 223. Yep. <laughs> so 223 is the shade lip liner I'm going to be using. And I have some eyeliner. This one's the thinner eyeliner. There's a thicker one and then there's a thinner one. This is the thin. Um, and then I have this eye pencil. I always like putting white on my waterline. It's a white eyeliner just because it makes your eyes pop. It makes them look a little bit bigger. But we're going to do that too. And then I got the mascara, Deep Black Full Volume Mascara. I feel like this works really well. I'll kind of let you know um, more detail whenever I start applying that. And I love me some lip plumper. So I got some lip plumper as well. And then for eyeshadow, girls, I've been getting some compliments on this eyeshadow at work. So I'm going to use the three eyeshadows down here it's called leader bliss and struggle and then for the brow the brow bone here I'm gonna use idle so this one up here and then these three down there is what I'm gonna be using because I got the most compliments whenever I use those color combinations so let's get started um, I will start with the VFX Pro primer it's very slick and smooth I would say um, it's clear, so whenever it comes out, it's like, uh, it's like gel, kind of like jelly, but I'm just going to dab that on, and it says to apply with your hands, so I'm just going to rub this in all over my face. Okay. Really, really good. I really like how smooth it is and it just goes on like nothing. It doesn't smear anything. It's just so soft. Okay, so now we will move on to the foundation. Um, my foundation that I got, it's the natural beige, which I probably should have got a light beige, but um, get it out of the box. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like here. All right, so I'm just gonna shake it up, and what I've been doing is just putting a little squirt onto um, the little foundation brush that I got, and I'm just gonna do a little dabs, and basically just brush it through. So.
You can see that fine, smooth finish on this stuff here. I mean, I feel like it covers pretty well. It is pretty tan for my face though, so no judgment. Um, we will go on top with the pressed powder. Um, I want to say it was a natural beige as well, but it doesn't show in the box. I'm really not sure. Um, but I really love this. This is probably my favorite thing in my purchase that I um, made with Pharmacy. This powder is so smooth. And it smells good. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but. Um, so I'm just going to take a regular brush that I have and just dab a little bit. And the application, like, I feel like I could just go to sleep just putting this on my face. Oh my gosh. And it's not the brush that's making it a smooth process, I'm telling you. This is powder. And no other powder has gone on my face this smooth before. This is pretty much just to set in the liquid foundation. So that way, you know. Your face doesn't look so oily. Not like I have oily skin anyway. My face is very dry. Naturally. So. But I still finish with the powder. Just to set it in place. Mm, yep. I'm really liking it. Okay. So that is the pressed powder. Now we will move on to, let's do the eyeshadow. So I'm just using regular brushes that I've been having and I'm going to start with Bliss. On top of that, I'm gonna do leader. Okay, and in the corners, I'm gonna use struggle. So that is the eyeshadow. This is my favorite color combination, I believe, on there. It seems a little reddish, but it's kind of like a burnt, burnt orange, maybe like a little darker orange, kind of brown. I don't know, but I've gotten many compliments on this color combination since I've been wearing the Pharmacy Iconic eyeshadow palette. So yeah. Now we're going to do eyeliner. Super, super thin. Like, yeah. So we're going to be very precise with this. So just give me a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put this one in my little mirror here so I can focus.
you out whenever you get like eyeliner in your eyeball and your eyeball turns black. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't burn. It, it really doesn't. So that's one good thing. My eyes aren't going to water. It's just the process of getting it out. Which it should flush itself out anyway. So. Okay. So there's the eyeliner application. Alright, so now we will do the mascara, which I really love this mascara. Like, most mascara, it kind of, like, sticks to, like, your eyelashes. And it feels like whenever you try to take your makeup off, it just, like, it's it doesn't come off. It wants to pull your real eyelashes out. This, it, like, gets crumbly. I don't know. That doesn't really sound right. But the application's really easy and... The brushes they look like this so it's not one of those thick brushes it's actually very fine and it gets every little piece of eyelash in there so mascara and I'm gonna go ahead and add the white eyeliner just to my waterline under See how that just makes your eyes just like pop a little bit more. So yes, there's that. And now we will finish off with the lip liner and let me make sure I use everything. Yes, yes I did. So the lip liner and the um, lip plumper. So let's do that. goes on so smooth and I, I'm usually not a lip liner person but I don't really have many lip liners and I feel like this application's really the best one that I've used so far could just be because it's brand new and it's sharp but it works very well so now this lip plumper I love the way this stuff makes your lips feel seriously and it's gonna blend in with this lip liner so it's gonna kind of like make my whole lip this color so here we go okay there that is and it smells like peppermint mm, it smells so good so okay here is my final look um, of course, I'm not contour or um, highlight or any of that because I didn't purchase any of that from pharmacy. All I strictly used was the pharmacy makeup that I had purchased. And that's the whole look right here with just the few little items that I used. So, um, if you've never heard of pharmacy like I never have, um, I would definitely go check it out because they really do have a lot of options that you can buy like they even have nail polishes and stuff so they have all colors of eyeshadows eyeliners lip liners lipsticks everything you can possibly think of um i'm really glad that i made this purchase and tried out all these new products because i really do like it and i will be buying from them again and hopefully you guys go and try it out um 
yeah so thanks for watching this pharmacy makeup review um come back next week and we will play around with some more makeup tips thanks for watching bye have a great monday I'm obsessed with